And today I'm going to be doing a blind reaction to the final episode of Life's a Breeze titled An Unbreakable Bond. And because this episode is so special, I'm doing a face cam again. <laughs> I have watched this series since episode one, and I've been playing Celestia and Luna for those times as well. And I thought just to celebrate the occasion, I'd have my little deformed Celestia with me. I don't really have a Luna, I've got a Nightmare Moon and she's just up there. But I will be with my Celestia. Now, I guess there was a script reading of this, but I didn't really stay for that much of it, so most of the episode is going to be really blind. And also, I took the initiative to re-watch episodes 1 through to 9 prior to this recording, I kind of skipped over the part in episode 9 where everyone was blaming Mythic because I did not want to live through that again. So anyways, without further ado, I'm not going to wait any <laughs> any longer. This episode is going to be a long one, an uh, hour and 15 minutes long. And because of that, if you see some camera shifts in one or two spots, that's because this camera can only take about half an hour of recording each. So just letting you know in advance. Anyway, without further ado, let's get this finale started in 3, 2, 1, and play. This episode has some intense final scenes. It uh, let me might just turn be that scary up. for younger viewers. Okay, thank you for letting us know of that, Snoopy. Ooh, the theme song has slowed down. That's how special it is, folks. Life's... A breeze. Oh, I like that logo. This is it, guys. This is the finale. How's this all gonna end? I don't know. Oh, there's the Phoenix Penelope. And that. Mm, I hate you, Radiant Hope. Go perish somewhere. I don't know. And there's light. Mythic managed to take her somewhere safe, I see. And he's pacing back and forth, of course he is. <laughs> and to think she was so selfish, so consumed with herself and her precious plans to even care for her own son. <sighs> it really shows how much she loves me. Yeah, she doesn't. She really doesn't, Mythic. What's the latest news, Penelope? Oh. I know, I know. I hope she wakes up soon, too. <laughs> of course she's an okay dingwad! Mythic, don't cry! <sighs> Only I have done something sooner. I, I want to give you a hug. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's some ponies coming. Ah! <gasps> All right. I think I might know who's coming. Aurora and Melissa, right? I think I remember that much from the script. Look, yeah, bed. yeah, that. It is them. Looks like someone used to live here. We'll be safe here for now. Aurora and Melissa. Yep, it's them. Oh whoa! Did the rock just get destroyed? <laughs> yep, it just got destroyed. Oh, that's adorable. Wait, what's going on here? I like the flowing animation of the hair. Well, Branch was walking the two of us back to the castle when suddenly the doors burst open. We hid behind a bush, and as we heard laughter, a purple alicorn stood there claiming to be the new ruler of Equestria. 
shattered hope. And those who do not obey shall be punished. Oh, geez. After that, she started capturing ponies. I knew what was happening, and I needed to get Aurora to safety. <laughs> Branch used himself as bait so oh, that no. we could get away. So far, we've been avoiding Shatter Hope until Aurora decided to try hiding out in the forbidden area behind the cave. Okay, but that doesn't explain why you're not mad at me, too. Melissa told me. I can't say I was happy to hear what Melissa had to say. But deep down, I knew you would never want to hurt my cousin. Still, I would like to know the whole... <gasps> hey! What's wrong with Light? Yeah. My mother used a very crucial, very dangerous spell on her to get to her magic. If she had any more time on her... Hmm... Tyrex spell? Well, yeah, I, that's what it is. You... I read about it a while ago. Plus her fur and mane is dull of color. I'm sure when she opens her eyes, too... That was such a dramatic part of that of episode, not gonna lie. She's been out for two days now. It's been two days. Goodness. There's some ingredients here that I think could help. When combined, I can make a drink that should help her regain some strength. Will it work? I'm not sure. I'm I glad that Aurora and Melissa before. are helping. Please, despite, I have to try. Despite knowing Anything what perfect. Mythic has actually been doing. Maybe but depending if light is going to be easy to forgive. Be of use of something. Making a special brew. Let's do this. I think that should do it. Ooh. It's nice and sparkly. I like this art style. This art almost Tilt her head that off. almost looks like Celestia, but I know that's light. That's just to prove that she is Celestia's daughter, I guess. There we go. Now she's full of color again. Aww. Get better. I freaking love these two. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Mythic. No! It's all on me. I'm the one who went behind everyone's trust. I'm the one who told her your secrets. And I'm the one who allowed my mother to get so powerful. Oh, Mythic, <sighs> I want to give you a hug again. It's my fault that Light is hurt. And I have no idea if she'll ever recover. And I will never, ever forgive myself if she doesn't. What I'd give to see her laugh and Aww. smile again. To see those enchanting eyes. To have everything the way it was. <sighs> and just when King Sambo was actually beginning to like me, I blew it because I couldn't stand up to my own mother. Why couldn't I have said something sooner? We could have avoided all of this if I had just said something sooner! Yeah, maybe. Maybe you could have. Make things right. Not just for the good of Equestria, but for her. And if I can't, then I don't know what to do. Stop it. What? Stop feeling sorry for yourself for taking all the blame. But I... Yes, some of it is your fault. But I'm pretty sure you weren't the one who forced your mother to go evil and steal magic all willy-nilly. That's... We can't do anything from our past mistakes. That's a good Only point. To learn from them. Good you wisdom from Aurora. With my Batacorn magic, your highly advanced magic skills, and Melissa's strength, we could defeat your mother. And when Light gets her strength back, your mom will have no match. That's but good I... wisdom from my daughter. I know my cousin. She is the strongest pony I know. The music here okay. kind of reminds me of uh, Thomas Newman a bit. I wonder what the soundtrack you, is. Aurora. You're right. You know, you've really grown. Really? I was so nervous because I didn't want to be too harsh. But you gotta know the truth. I thought I sounded a lot like my mom and oh, I'm becoming my mother. 
<laughs> You're becoming me! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh my goodness. Meanwhile... Ooh, it's all grayscale! Give it a rest, would you? There is no escape. Face it, Sombra. You hey. are defeated. I ought to make it so that I could hear you. Raiden, hope why are you like this? I mean, I know you're the villain, but you're just unbearable. I'll find a way out of here. Defeat you, and find my daughter. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. Daddykins to the rescue. Give me a break. My son has taken her and is long gone from here. Mythic. Oh, Celestia. And there's me. I'm so sorry. I could still hear you. Then get it for your head. I love her, not you. Yeah, it's come on. Come on, Radiant. Because come high noon tomorrow, you're finally going to get what you deserve. Oh, and there's Luna as well, in the bubble. Well, I don't want to spoil the fun, but let's just say after I'm done with her, her immortality will mean nothing. No! Oh, oh God. Oh, jeez. Whew. Yep, Radiant is no being to be messed up, goodness oh. me. Dad. Oh, light is starting to come too. Mythic. Betrayed. No. No. No! Oh, she's awake. to the castle what happened to ah! uh. oh yeah you you're still recovering from that spell There's like I could do the moon on my own now I didn't think I would have to manage the sundown if it were Aurora yep it's Aurora It's good to see you're safe, Princess. Your potion worked! She's all better! Well, not entirely, but I'm glad to be awake again. Something to drink and eat will help regain your strength. And of course, a good night's sleep will do you good. That reminds me, how did I get here? Who brought me here? Oh, this is cute art. I like the little... Nope, it's... Nope. Nope. N not either of them. Yeah, uh, no, no, it's not. Not Vanellope either. Vanellope! You're okay! Oh, I bet it was you, old girl, huh? Nope. No, it wasn't her. There's, there's one more pony left. <laughs> Thanks for leaving me high and dry. At least I spotted some honey by the cave. Oh my gosh, it smelled like weeks. that was Winnie the Pooh on it! Oh my gosh! Oh, that, wow. Of course. <laughs> of course it's Winnie the Pooh. Light, you're awake! And you're okay! Mmm, I wouldn't be too sure about that, Mythic. Mmm, something tells me that, uh, yeah. What is he doing here? 
you know, I'm sorry, Snoopy, but this reminds me of Daughter of Discord Episode 8. This exact scenario. <laughs> um, he's been taking care of you since you've been out. We only got here today. He's the one who saved you. <laughs> oh, good one, Aurora! Him save Aww. me? Give me a break. What more could you possibly take from me? Light, I know you're mad and you have every right to be, but listen. No, I'm through listening to you. I will not listen to another one of your lies. You've allowed a power-hungry mare to gain power by stealing magic from my family. You told her all our secrets, and for a cherry on top, she has my family trapped and has already practically taken over Canterlot while I was out. Oh, well, don't think I forget. You do have every that. right to be mad, How Light, but I let him explain. That's the headache I got now, and who knows if I'll ever be able to use my magic again. And I guess that's a good thing, huh? Now that I have no magic, I don't need a squire anymore since that's what this was all about in the first place. Oh. I never wanted a squire. I trusted you. You were my squire, my best friend. I loved you. But I guess that was a whole lie too, wasn't it? A part of the plan, huh? It's probably why I never heard you say I love you to me. Oh, oof. ouch. That has got to hurt. That, that seriously has got to hurt. Cause, cause he does, he does love her. I don't care. Please, let me explain. You had your chance. <sighs> oh, this is this art is beautiful. Bearmation, I think the artist is for this scene. I can understand her being angry, but you know, she doesn't know the full story. Like, Mythic was pretty much blackmailed into doing this stuff. So that's what really, really stings about this. Why did you do it? <laughs> and that night sky is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what to do. Oh, is that mythic? Hmm. Yep, it's mythic. What does he want now? Just let him explain himself. I mean, they are gonna make up in the end, but like... <sighs> this misunderstanding type thing is always really hard to watch. Oh, he's got a rose. Sweet like your laugh. Beautiful like your eyes. Sharp like your personality. He's he's trying to make up for what he's you done. Know what make this rose unique Give him a chance, okay? Small patch of flowers. What? The roses in this garden last longer than the others. Daisies end up turning into wishes. Petunia's fragrance doesn't last very long, and sunflowers will die out if not cared for every day. Hmm. What's your point? Well, when a rose gets into the right hooves, they grow even bigger and become even more beautiful. Aww. But if you give it to the wrong pony, they can hurt and damage it. They are delicate after all, and if you mess with it... They'll become broken. I like how the rose is a metaphor for, like hearts and and love in general you're right i think that's really yeah, clever i know i haven't been the best gardener oh 
Oh, you're putting it in her mane. But, uh, I mean, Princess Light, as your squire, I ask for your forgiveness. Forgive me if there was ever a moment I didn't provide. If ever a moment I made you feel discomfort, that I didn't give you the advice you needed, the comfort when you needed it most. If there was ever a moment where I betrayed your trust, I wish I could just go back and change things, but I can't! Aww. But I can guarantee you this. Mythic's trying his All best. What happened and what has been said was not a lie. How can I trust you? Because you're my best friend. And I will never take that for granted ever again. Aww. From now on, I will never keep a secret away from you. And tell you the truth about everything. I'm so sorry, Light. Do you mean it? Yes, he does! With all my heart. Aww. Yes, he's telling the truth. Go forgive him! go oh wait all right I believe you but that doesn't mean things get to go back to the way they were I I, I guess she has I a point there to think. As you wish, Princess. I've heard this song before. What? what? Hmm. In the meantime, hmm. you can tell me, Aurora, and Melissa everything. Yes. As you wish. Right? This is your chance, Mythic. Just yeah, tell them the truth that you've been meaning to do from the very beginning. I'm sorry. I wish it didn't have to go back to this. No matter what happens, you will always be my princess. I freaking love them so much! <laughs> oh, Snoopy, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> okay, now. So let me get this straight. Okay, it's just told everyone. The reason why you never told any of us royals was that you were afraid of us kicking you out? Ah, uh, yeah. I never knew. I didn't think we were that scary. I'm sorry that we made you feel that way. We're not that intimidating, are we? Well, when you get angry sometimes. Hmm. Oh, wait. Take that back, what Mythic. I, mean is, I was more so scared over the king, and I had no idea what would have happened if I had actually told you. Though, I wish I did. Anything's better than what's happening now. That's because of the guilt you were carrying. Thank you, Melissa. Besides, I struggled between leaving my mother or leaving you guys. I guess I can see the struggle there. I mean, from what you're telling me, she's all the family that you've got. She's all I have. Well, that's not true. You've had a family all along. Exactly! I I that sooner. Nithik, don't start the pity party. We don't have time for that. Now that we've gotten things cleared up, we need a plan. What are you talking about? What did you expect? We're not gonna let her win that easily. We're gonna take back our home. Yeah! But she has Alicorn magic! She stole away your powers! We're no match! She's too powerful! We are not giving up without a fight. Besides, That's you should spirit? know better. I'm a strong man. Yeah! And I'd like to show that discounted Alicorn wanna be a thing or two about Batacorn magic. And all the Squire training that helped us this past year might as well put it to use. Besides, we have something that she doesn't, and that's the power of friendship. Woo! Who's in? I'm in! Sign me up. Here we go! 
I'll do anything to get things back to the way they were. For the record, that was so cliche. That whole friendship is magic thing. <laughs> I saw the opportunity, and I took it. Yeah, like, we're in the last okay, episode of an audio so drama. Let's plan? make the most of it. So our best chance is freeing the king and queens first. But those bubbles she casted, it's like it's suspended magical properties. You don't think... That the bubbles could have some of the rock's magical properties? Oh! Wait. Rocks that suspend magical property? Oh, that came back! Did she say anything about breaking through them? A dart made out of gold that's been covered in chocolate. Hmm, what? Chocolate? My <laughs> what was that? that oh, moment. Aurora! Okay... Where can we find a gold dart? Leave it to me. I can easily whip it up with my magic. No! no! Don't use your magic, what? Light. Light, you won't be able to use your magic at all. You won't even be able to fly! But that's absurd! Sure, I feel weak and all, but... To not even be able to fly? But that's what Tyrex Bell does! Don't you remember our lesson on the time Twilight had to go up against that Tyrex guy? Oh and yes, Lord Tyrex. equivalent to his powers, then you can't risk it. So then where does that leave me? Just to stand back and watch the three of you risk your lives to defeat this uncontrolled power-hungry maniac? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go with no. Not happening. We can't risk losing you, Light. You still have some magic left in you. Then that literally contradicts what you just said about Tyrex spell taking it all away! Hmm. How do you know how much magic I have left? If any at all for that matter. You're Keeny Mark. Oh! Oh, it's- it's glowing! See, if she had gotten you any longer, all of your magic would be gone. Meaning that your cutie mark would be gone too. Exactly, yeah! Seeing faded out cutie mark gives us a little hope. Maybe if you refrain from using any magic for a little while more, you should slowly regain the magic that was once stolen. That's a big what if. For all we know, it might actually be gone. Light. Oh, don't I don't think that light. About your magic and how strong it is. Glowing hair and everything. Don't think I'd never noticed how they always treated you with more caution over the years. Mm -hmm. Regardless, your magic is something Equestria has never seen. I've seen it in action. Don't you remember? The day you saved me? What if they yeah, say Yeah, back in true? episode 3. You can gain your magic back and take her down with no problem. But I can't control it. It's like she said I- Yes, you can. You can control it. But that's only if you believe in yourself. And stop worrying about how everyone else will think about it. Yes! Go Aurora, being a wow, supportive Aurora. cousin. You've really come a long way since the little Billy you once were. You're not the only one. Aww, this is adorable. Now that we've got that cleared up, how do we get all that magic out of Shatter of Hope? Is there any way to get the elements of harmony together? I hear so much about them. The elements of harmony. It's too late to probably get to them now. Besides, I don't think this is an element of harmony thing. Yeah, probably not. Maybe we could try not. reversing T-Rex spell? Of course! If we could just reverse the effects of the spell and use it on my mother, it will drain the magic from her and just might return all the stolen magic! That's a good but, idea. But... That means I'll have to face her. You would have to face her one day. I know. Aww. I just wish it wasn't like this, but I'll do it. Let's get some rest. Come tomorrow, we're ending this. Once and for all. Oh, wait. Is this what I- it's ready as I'll ever be from Tangled. I recently watched that series, so now the I've got full context. The day finally come. We are dawning on our final hours. Any moment now, you're <laughs> Believe me, I know I've stooped pretty low, but all that I've done, you deserve. Oh, quiet! Oh, my gosh! Fine. It's really Radiant is divine. such a powerful and singer. Justice at last will be Please listen. Now, time to stand up, and there's no backing down. Now, there's only one answer for me, and I'll stand. Whoa! Ready as I'll ever be. Nice. 
Nice. So with everything in order, we should be able to find one of the entrances here. And it's I see the flipper we'll clip thing down the at the guards. bottom. But I know we can do it. Yeah. No time to rise up and there's no backing down. And Aurora is singing Cassandra's pot. There we go. Oh, where's light going? Oh, she's she's probably sad that she can't participate more. And also with everything else that's going on. Mythic, comfort, comfort her. Nice. Let's go. Make them all see. They can trust me. I'll save my home and family. Now the cards are face down and a race to the ground. I think that's the only bit that I sang in as my character. That one line. Radiant, you're going down! Let, let's take her down, shall we? <laughs> Alright, next, we've got a bush. <gasps> this is Sugar Cloud's eye! So I recognize those giant guard, eyes and ears find anywhere. Our way to where Shattered Hope is, keeping the royals. Once we free them, we'll help contain Shatter Hope while Mythic performs the spell. And everything should go back to normal. Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. I like this tribal drum going in the background. And not gonna lie, Aurora kind of looks really cool with that armor on. Yes. Oh, that's the secret passageway that they discovered under the castle. It's so dark in here. I think it's left to right. Uh, it was Mythic, Light Aurora, and then Melissa. Whoa. What is this? This place is full of secret slides leading to different areas of the castle. Oh, secret slides. They're That's what really those are. High too. How will we be able to climb up there? I can try and carry you guys. Hmm. If this thing was created by Discord. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, was it created by Discord? Ah, light! <laughs> it's okay, guys. The slides, they were created by Discord. Sit down and you'll slide in reverse. Oh. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> <laughs> that's clever. The sliding up. <laughs> nice. Uh, 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 uh. Is every pony all right? <laughs> Are you okay, Mythic? <laughs> Some pony's coming. Hide. Mythic doesn't look like he's okay. I heard something. Me too. Scan the area. We got some gods. Huh? Hmm. Oh, isn't she supposed to be pink? Melissa's posing is. Oh wait, they're all posing as the, as that thing. Huh. Okay. These stained glasses need to be cleaned. <laughs> they are so dumb, guards. Honestly, they are so dumb. Everybody okay? Boy, it's hard doing magic while hanging upside down. <laughs> but aren't you part bad? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um, Aurora, can you let me down, please? No explanation. Wait, that's not what I meant! <laughs> and off she goes. Oh! Catch her! There we go! There we go! Thanks. Come on. <laughs> Is 
It's coming from the main throne room. Get ready. <sighs> oh wow. She looks Feels like she's great to be in control. She looks like she's about to get married. Oh, and it's twelve. Noon. Time for you to bow to me. Oh, there's Snoopy and Flicker Flame and all the other cast members. You need to bow down to our leader, sweetheart, to show our respect. I don't want to bow down. She's a mean old lady. Oh no! Ah, mommy, Daddy! Sweet note! No! What's the matter? Am I too scary for the little baby? You're a scary old lady! I want Queen Celestia back! I am your leader now! And I'm ten times the leader those sisters could ever be! It's like I'm ten times the King Bufasa was! I've got you, sweetie! Oh, that's sour! A true leader cares for her subjects! Spoken wisdom! Yeah, we want Celestia back! Green Luna's better. Set them free. Give us back King Sombra. Free our true leader. Silence! You will love me. And any woman who chooses to object against my command will be severely punished without question. See, this is how you don't win them over. A tyrannical vil a, a tyrannical After leader today, is not the way to go. You won't be able to call for a Celestia or Luna. It's showtime! Oh, there's light. As promised, Sombra, the time has come. Let's see, are we live? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, and you projected yourself. My fellow subjects, as you can see, we are now under new management. Behold a new reign, Queen Shattered Hope! Now, you must be wondering what happened to your beloved queens and king and blah blah blah. Well, they are now stepping down. Okay, she's distracted. I'll sneak up on her and use the reverse spell. You guys free them. I'll go with you. Oh, Light, nice no. blinking in, here and uh, animation. There's no way I'm letting you go near that unstable mare by yourself. You'll be safe here. Squire's order. I'm coming with you, Princess Command. Oh, wow. We do know that now is not the time to be arguing. Yep. Definitely not. <sighs> Fine. Oh, that's the gold... Covered dot, right? Oh, and Aurora's setting her father free. Slumber. There we go. Now all this has been leading up to. Oh, she sees him from behind. Uh oh. Oh, I really like this background music. Guards. Oh no, you don't. Oh, and this is Bella Pink Savage's art. No! Awesome as always. And there I go. I finally come for you, Sombra. Celestia just got you. For you to finally know what it's like to go through the pain you've put me through. Celestia. I'm really liking this background music. I want to know what it is so I can look it up later. Leave her alone. Ooh, got an epic. Oh no, Celestia! Celestia! <laughs> Mom! Stop this hope. It's me you want to remember. I broke your heart. Oh, I like this thought. It's very pony you love comic. Slip away right comic in front style. of your eyes. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh no, 
from Celestia! No. Not again. No! Oh, this is only the beginning for you, Sombra! Leave her be. Do what you like with me. Just leave her out of this. Never! You need to be taught a lesson. This is, like, if you have your heart broken because of a one-sided relationship, this is not how to oh, go about I said it, it before, folks. And I'll say it again. I truly am sorry for not being able to return those feelings. Wasn't my friendship good enough? Mmm, friends no, earned. Nope. I wanted more! Oh! Why did we have to train him so well? Nice job in beating up those guards that are under I'm control. Coming, father. Oh no. Go help Light. Yeah, go! Go! Go to your girlfriend! Yeah, we gotta cover here. Oh! Animation! But let me guess. Kimmy Arts? Because that animation is awesome! Whoa! Aurora! You go! Oh, whoa! Oh my gosh! That was incredible! Whoa! Whew. Aurora, that was intense! Goodness me, that's a lot of power for one 15 year old Alicorn. Oh. Did Discord just say I've seen better? D minus? <laughs> He's just not impressed at all. But everyone else is just really scared out of their minds. Oh, whoa! Whoa, what, what, what just, what was that? Oh, that was radiant, dropping King Sombra to the ground. Jeez, that was intense. Oh, what's happening? I don't like the look of those skulls. Is Sombra being controlled now? Like, brainwashed? And with you as my king, we will be unstoppable! No, I promised. Never to go back! Back to his evil you form, can't yeah. Help it. No! Okay, there we go. He snapped out of it. Celestia. Oh no, it's his horn. Oh yeah, this is my scene. A chocolate covered dart. They asked me to do art for this Stop, episode. Shattered hope. <laughs> oh, the little alicorn with uncontrolled magic has come back for round two. <laughs> well, the pleasure is all mine. Drawing radiant was very interesting, actually. <laughs> was that like a Next, Mario effect? One of many. I have had enough of you. <laughs> I love that art. That art was one of my favorites it. to do. What have I ever done to you for you to hate me this much? It was supposed to be Sombra and I. He was supposed to love me. But you had to have moved on. 
Otherwise, you wouldn't have had Mythic, right? What do you know? Light does have you a point. You mean to tell me Sombra was the only one? There was no one else? Shut up! <laughs> then I was facing the background of my scene of the scene right after. So I could get the colors right. I could never be happy. If Sombra had chosen me, I could have been the one with the happy family and kids and have a happily ever after. Well, how can you be so sure? But no. He chose that mare over me. It's all your faults. Sombra, Celestia, and you. Their little precious baby light breeze. Well, she can't be to blame. I mean, she was just a, you know, she was just a baby, you know? And now Sombra will finally feel the pain he has put me through. Imprisoning Celestia for the way I felt being trapped and alone forever. Turning Sombra evil to show him all the anger but yeah, and sadness he's put does me have through. a point. She should have moved on and, you, you know, had love with another stallion, otherwise free. Mythic wouldn't be born. By using T-Rex extracting spell on you, it will be easy for me to finally end you once and for all. And Sombra will feel the pain of loss. The way I felt when I had lost him. Oh dear. Light, you need to get out of there. <laughs> Nowhere to run, princess! Whoa! Bye. Oh! Mythic sacrificed himself! Jeez! Pushed Light out of the way so she could be saved. Check to see if he's alright, Light. It's okay. Yes, I'm here. I'm but he here. looks like he's on the verge of dying. Like, uh, it's over. Uh, it's not over. Don't talk uh, like that. And this reminds me of Tangled. Uh, this this bit. It's too late for me. Uh, I just want you to know how sorry I am. Uh, no, Mythic. No. Uh, don't do this. They're both Please. crying. I know we can find a way to heal you. I can only hope. I can only hope you can, you can forgive me. Mythic. Of course I forgive you. I should be asking the same. Oh. <laughs> Mythic, please don't leave me. Right here. <laughs> Why? Why'd you do it? Oh. Because. He's gonna say I it? I made a promise. I made a promise to King Sombra. Your safety comes first before anything else. Light, oh. light, don't cry. I hate to see you upset. I want you to know that all those memories we shared together and everything I've said to you was not a lie. I know. I love you, Preezy. He said Thank it! Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, she Thank said you. it! For everything. You too. Aww. And he's dead, isn't he? He just took his final breath. Mythic. Mythic!
Oh, and Celestia sees what's happening to you and everyone else. And even Sombra is crying! And Radiant notices that she's just accidentally killed her son. And I think she's gonna snap out of it, hopefully. Oh, and she's crying too! No! Oh? What's this? Look at him, Blue. He's gorgeous. We did that. Yes. Oh! Yes, we did. She got together with... Blue Blood! Blue Blood is Mythic's father. Oh, and he's so cute! Aww! Little baby Mythic. Hush now, darling. It's okay. Mommy's here. With Daddy by your side. Isn't he just a little angel? Our little mythic blue hope. Aww. Come on, Mithy. Come to Dada. He's only a month old, Bluey. I believe my boy could do it. What, what happened to Blue Blood then? Come on, little mythic. Don't be afraid, my little one. Your mom is here for you. This is so cute. This is so adorable. That's my boy. Is that Sour playing Blue Blood? I'm not sure. It, it definitely sounds like he is playing Blue Blood. <laughs> oh, I'll check the credits later to see who's playing Blue Blood. Oh, and he's got his teddy bear! They kept with him, like, until the present time. Oh? Uh, he's noticing a bottle. You must keep out of reach for children. Mythic, sweetie, no! Oh, is he gonna drink it? No, he isn't! He splashed it on Radiant. What does it do? Hush now, it'll be alright. Oh. Radiant, I'm leaving you. Oh! What? It was fun and all, but I have better things to do. Oh, so- You can't be serious! What about me? He left them! Our son! Your problem. Oh, that's what happened. That's why he doesn't have a dad. She never had that perfect family with him. Hope? Hope! Oh, wait! Mythic? Where that, are you? That wasn't him! Nightmare effects potion. Oh! The worst nightmare come to life. Oh! So she was seeing this. It, it didn't actually happen. Oh, hope. Oh, no. Oh, that screwed things up so much for Radiant. If only that hadn't gotten spilled on her and then she'd still be with him. I was thinking it'd be really out of the blue to just leave your wife like that. Is she gonna sing the song? Like, from Tangled? That's 
what I thought. This is this is tangled. This is this is freaking tangled. She's gonna sing the song and then he's gonna come back to life. Say what has been lost. Bring back what once was mine. Feel what has been hurt. Change the fate of time. Save what has been lost. Bring back what once was mine. <laughs> what one was mine. She's gonna fall on him, right? <laughs> I like how it doesn't have any music, it's just silence. It's very, it's very eerie. <laughs> oh, her hair's glowing. Her hair is glowing, and her tears are golden? Rainbow? Oh, and her cutie mark is shining bright too. This is very... This is giving me Tangled vibes! <laughs> oh, is he alive? He's alive! Light, did I ever tell you that you have the voice of an angel? Oh, <laughs> Mythic! Oh, he's back! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, and Radiant's smiling too. Oh, Imagine wait. Th there's too much for her to handle. It consumed her. She's trying to fight it. She needs oh, our help. She's redeeming herself. You will pay. No shattered hope. This ends now. Whoa. No! Come on! Oh, I like this epic music. No, let me go. I need more power! No, Mom. You need to stop and let us help you, okay? You're not thinking right. Please. I want my mom back. Oh. Whoa, the power of rainbows! Oh, and there's Celestia. And Celestia's okay. Aww. Everything's going back to normal. Yeah, it is. Have I mentioned?
mentioned how adorable Kimmy Art's art style is. It's just so adorable. Oh. Oh, who's this? Mom? Oh, it's 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 radiant. She's gone back to her normal form. She snapped back to her senses, I hope. Mom? Oh, please don't tell me she, well Nope, she's she's okay. Mythic. She's okay. And she doesn't look terrifying. Are you really back? Mythic? Is that really you? Mythic? No, Mythic, it's you! Aww. It's really you, my darling baby boy! I'm so sorry I forgot everything that ever mattered to me. Clouded Aww. by my own emotions and not letting go of the past. I never should have left without talking things out first. I was a fool to do so. Oh, Mythic, I am so sorry. I never should have rekindled those emotions and become consumed with revenge. You are by far more important than any unwanted revenge. You are the most important pony in my life. Mythic, my son, I love you. I love you so much. Oh. Now this is not toxic. She is not a toxic parent anymore. She's genuinely... Oh. And he's finally giving, getting the motherly love that he longed for all these years. Let it out. Let it out, Mythic. Like, Mom, Dad, Breezy. And she gets to. Oh, Breezy, you're okay. <laughs> and I finally have lines to so Celestia. Afraid. You're safe now. Everything's going to be okay. And there's there's Radiant. Your Majesty, King Sombra. I can't take back the mistakes I made. I wish I could, but I can't. I regret my mistakes and miss the bond we used to share as advisor and king. As friends. Oh. I know I won't be able to have the friendship we once shared, but please... Mm, very true. Whatever you do, don't take it out on my son. He wanted nothing to do with this. All this is my fault. There we go. You're you owning up. You you're taking responsibility. That's what Do we what want you to like see. To me. I deserve it. Getting some confirmation from your wife, are you, Sombra? I missed you, Hope. Oh, there we go. Hugs make everything better. And then we've got Aurora sipping some punch. Oh! Oh, and there's... <laughs> Cue the love interest! Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's Disney fanatic Hi. Cersei. Fra and uh needle start, I mean needle heart. <laughs> Hi, Rora. Wow. Nice uh party 
We're happy. And Merman Spider in the background as well. <laughs> yeah. Sweet little star's birthday. What fun. You know, uh, I just bumped into Melissa earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and uh, me. I was thinking maybe... No, 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 wait. Um, I like I mean, all the uh, caviars. I was wondering if you, I, maybe we can, uh, if the two of us could hang out after this party. You? Me hanging out? Yes, yeah, do, it. Must, do, do it, do it, do it. Who, what, me busy? Never. I'd love to. I'm just I mean seeing the ships unfold. And I'm secretly shipping them together. <laughs> Wow, your eyes are so pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is so sweet. There we go. Really, your majesty, it's no problem. It's the least I could do. Oh, look at those gigantic me. ears. <laughs> Oh, this oh, blue blood! After all these years, I finally found you. But I don't understand how. Why? When I read the potion's name and uses. Oh, and there's the me. Must have it in on the background as well. You saw your worst nightmare. It must have been pretty bad for you to leave without saying goodbye. But I wouldn't give up so easily. Mm, that's because this I is art stars, all are, right? Over Equestria for years. Trying to find you, but had no luck. Who would have thought you'd cross some portal leading to this weird, bizarre world such as ours? Point is, I had to find you to let you know I still care. You traveled all over the world? You came all this way to find me? Oh, After everything I've ever done? Of course. I love you. Aww. Oh, Bluey, I miss you. Yes, all of the hugging. What does that say? I can't read what that says. Oh, there's Celestia and... Oh, always. it says always. Okay. <laughs> oh, and then we've got Mythic and Light in the background. Breezy? Myth? Where are you two going? Oh. We're just going for a walk in the night. Yeah, no harm in that. Hmm. We better keep her safe, lad. Of course, sir. Squire's Aww. honor. Remember. I know, I know. Be back at ten. That's my girl. There we go. We still got the curfews and stuff. <laughs> Come on, let's go. And make way for the cute, adorable couple that we've been <laughs> building up since. Come on, Mythic, don't slow down. All right, all right. Okay, now show me. Hm. Oh, her mane is glowing. Okay, now plant the seed. Oh, is this what... Her special powers can do? Using her powers to make the plant grow? Oh, making a whole bunch of roses appear. Nice! What do you think? My, this is fantastic, but... But? What about your magic? I finally figured it out. Glowing mane and all? Glowing mane and all. 
Aw, look See, at that. My emotions are channeled through my magic. That's usually how magic works for most unicorns and alicorns. When my emotions get the best of me, it triggers the extra powerful magic to channel through my hair and what causes the magical burst. I see. Gotcha. So, how did you figure out how to control it? Simple. I keep the things I love constantly in my mind so that I'm able to use it properly. Oh. Light, I'm happy that you finally figured it out, but did it really have to be so cliche? <laughs> You forget that I gotta learn things on my own, even if it's obvious for someone else. Wow. Of course. We're gonna have a gonna have a kiss before the end of the episode. I love you, Light. Oh, we got. I love you too, Nefe. Oh, I got animation by Kimmy Arts again. Oh, and White Quartz. There we go. Yay! <laughs> there we go. Ah, <laughs> dying of cuteness. This is so adorable. Oh, you guys! Oh, gosh, it's Snoopy. Oh, come on over here! Come on, everyone! Group hug, everyone! Group hug! Oh, wow, Snoopy! Wow! Do you mind if I kiss the birdie? <laughs> Ooh, that was another. that was a well, bad idea. Well, wrap up for this story. I am out of here. Bye, bye Snoopy. Bye, you two crazy lovers. Yo, baby boy, ciao. I'm history. No, I'm astrology. No, who cares what I am? I am free. <laughs> okay, if you say so, Snoopy. <laughs> and we've got another kiss from them. Aww. Made you look. Wow. Wow, Snoopy. Just wow. Oh, and at the credits. Time your mind. Working out the All right, voice actors. Always be Snoopy right. as Light. Jacob as Smithic Hope. Ah, there's me as Celestia and Luna. Clarkson as Sombra and Nova. Danny Chambers is Rain Hope. She did an amazing job with that, with her role. Song Heart is Aurora. Chaotic Lover is Melissa. Colors is Frost Needleheart. Mindscape is all of these characters. <laughs> Ebony Tales Penelope is Twilight and Flurry. Pally is Star. I love all of these adorable vector things. Freddy Penny Axe's Discord. Artists. Oh, and this is all the art from the first episode to the last episode. So let's just that thing too. This is a catchy song. Oh, what a journey it's been! From December 2nd, 2020 to now, 23rd, well, it's 23rd for me as I'm recording this of February 2022. Oh, all of the, all of these memories. It was an honor playing Celestia in this production as well as Luna. That is a lot of artists that have helped in this production. I just need to look out for my name, because, you know, I only drew for this episode. 
Ah, oh, yes. We can forget about Jeremiah. Jeremiah is trash and I'm glad he did not appear again. Damnation. Did that art, that was sweet. Super sensitive. Then. Sugar Cloud, Full Splash, Time Lapse. There's my name. I did that art. Special thanks to George Gaza. And there we go. I think that's it. Oh, I made a promise six years ago. I promised once I started this audio drama that you would see the story till the end. Today that promise has been fulfilled. Thank you for sticking around for so long, old and new viewers. Stay tuned for the next story to be told. I'll see you... Uh, my camera's in the way so I couldn't uh, read the last of that. Hold on, I'm just going to get back to that and uh, see what that says. Let me just, okay, it says, I'll see you all on the flip side. Okay, cool. So that was the last episode of Life's Breeze, and oh boy, did it wrap up nicely. It wrapped up so well. And as you can see, I am turning into, t into a tomato because it is currently summer. And yeah, Celestia, no offense, but can you please make the sun go away? That would be lovely. No, I don't want to do that. No? Okay, bye. All of the cast and crew did such an amazing job with this series, and it has been surprising. It's been one of my favourites to work on uh, recently, and I was really amazed with how quickly each episode was coming out, with the level of quality. Oh, I have to give a shout out to Kimmy Arts for all the amazing animations we've had for every episode that just had left my mouth wide open. And everyone's voice acting, especially uh, Snoopy's as Light Breeze and Flick of Flame, Jacob Gorm as, uh, as Mythic. Oh, you guys did amazing voicing as those two characters and <laughs> they're so cute together. So yes, it's been an honor uh, playing Celestia and Luna in this production. I've had a lot of fun and thank you Snoopy for like asking me if I was interested in playing those characters and yeah, it's been... It's been a blast. It's been a, it's been a breeze. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to see what future projects uh, Snoopy has planned next. And yeah, I'm gonna stop this reaction soon because I'm getting quite warm. Bye. This is Newscript signing out.